Well, we're here today on top of the closed Bridgeport landfill to celebrate the beginning of the installation of solar panels, some 9,000 solar panels between this and the fuel cell. 5,000 homes will get clean or renewable energy in the city of Bridgeport. And we're joined by Kurt Spaulding, who is the Region 1 Administrator for EPA, and Mayor Danny Rivera of Lawrence, Mass. We're so honored that you're here today. For Bridgeport, and, and certainly for cities all over New England, we're seeing solar panels become part of the urban core, if you will, where people are putting them on houses, putting them on landfills, putting them anywhere we can generate renewable energy. Of course, the benefits are fantastic. We, we lower our carbon footprint, we create, we create jobs, which is really important in this, in this climate we're in right now. We need, we need these jobs. So not only in Connecticut, but everywhere, and I see everywhere, we're seeing this. But what's really exciting is, is just this opportunity in Bridgeport. Huge landfill. What's the megawattage in this one? Or? Two and a half megs of two solar, and meg two and a half megs of fuel cell. I mean, just, just that's a significant amount of energy. So this is a major project, a signature project for New England and certainly for Connecticut and certainly for Mayor Finch and, and, and frankly for, for the state itself. Right, right, I can tell you that cities are doing this all around the country and cities are really where the action is in terms of protecting our environment and creating those green jobs that we d desperately need in the cities. And nobody's doing that with more vision in Massachusetts than Danny Rivera and he's cleaned up a number of brownfields and he's relatively new in the job but he's got the passion and the fire in, in his spirit to do that. And so I thought you may want to just mention why you're here in Bridgeport and what you hope to uh, be able to do together with us. Well, first and foremost, you know, to be alongside uh, such a great mayor has done so much um, in his time. Uh, it's an honor for me. I'm learning. I'm still a rookie mayor, uh, a year and seven months in. Uh, but it's, it's always a learning idea, and you want to do the best thing for your people. It's always good to see colleagues that are doing stuff that you can take home and make it from your, your cities and towns. Yep. <laughs> so uh, we're happy to see local jobs being created right here to create green energy. We have significant health problems in cities, and this will be 5,000 homes that aren't triggering anybody's kids' asthma. This is going to be 5,000 homes that aren't going to be polluting the atmosphere to stay warm and comfortable after your day at work in the jobs that we help create. So it's a virtuous cycle right here on top of an old dump.